omelets. Cooking eggs well is, is a really basic skill that isn't that easy to master. When you're talking about omelets, there's really only two types to really talk about, an American and a French. The American omelet is cooked a little bit faster. It's got color around the outside. It's what you'd see in a typical American diner. A French omelet is very different. The first time I ever tasted a French omelet was in Vermont, in this little kind of rundown dive restaurant connected to an old movie theater. And this place made the most incredible omelet I've ever had. A French omelet is cooked slow, there's no color on the outside. It's almost like juicy and custard-like in the middle. It can be stuffed just like a West, like an American omelet with bacon and cheese or anything like that. It is far superior in my mind. So we're gonna teach you how to do it. You need three fresh eggs, fresh as you can get them. You need some butter. This is some good Irish Kerrygold butter. Some salt and pepper and some chives. First, we're gonna chop up the chives just so they have them ready to plate afterwards. And then we're going to beat these eggs really well. Chive is the type of herb that you just want to cut once through. You don't want to kind of run your knife through it. Take your hand off, move it back. Sorry, that light was bothering me. I forgot to turn it off. I wanna make sure I beat these well. You don't want any sort of remnants of the egg white in the scrambled eggs. Smash the eggs. So I always like to salt eggs once they're in the pan, never before. When you pre-salt eggs before they hit the pan, it sort of does something to them. So I got my salt, pepper, butter, chives, eggs, and then you need like um, either a whisk or some sort of non-stick, something to beat the eggs a lot in the pan because you're gonna, you're gonna use a non-stick pan. You need a non-stick pan to make omelets. You can't make them on any other pan. Don't try. So let's go over to the stove. We're gonna make it all there and leave the chives here for some garnish. You don't wanna cook eggs on high heat. They get tough and you kind of want eggs sort of soft and pillowy. So medium high heat. We don't want a lot of like kind of sizzle happening. The French like a lot of butter. And this is a French omelet. It's gonna lower the heat. The key here Constantly move it for like the first 50% of the cooking. Moving the curds to the center. Trying to form tiny little curds. Fold it over. A lot of people like to and take some butter and just kind of coat it to get a nice little sheen. A little bit of salt. Let me show you what's going on in here. It's like juicy and there's no color on it and scrambled cooked eggs, but it's delicious. You've gotta, you've gotta make these eggs. You're gonna screw them up like a hundred times. They're very hard to make. I almost screwed these up. You've gotta practice them over and over again. Eggs are cheap. You can afford to screw them up. It's less than a dollar to make this. 
Can you see? Big shout out to uh, a fan and now a friend named Frankie. He sent me these two books, which he knew I would like. Wait till you see this. Custom bookmarks. Who has custom bookmarks like this? He wrote a little nice note inside of each one. Frankie, I appreciate this so much. I can't tell you how nice it was for you to do this and how much thought went into these guys. I appreciate it. That's it for today. I hope to see you next time. I mean, are you kidding me?